Uh, we'll go for rules 8 and 9 in this video. They're both kind of long, and uh, 8 will actually require a little bit of explanation, not much. Uh, rule number 8, last thing. It's not really the last thing because rule number 9 has been added since then. Uh, last thing, only people with an identifiable public profile and an actual photo will be allowed in this group. If you have to hide, we don't need you here either. Uh, you'll be removed if you block your profile from the admins or change your profile picture or cover photo to something not family friendly after you are accepted for membership. Uh, we're not looking for just strictly the main profile picture. Uh, what happens when you, uh, when you send your join request and you answer the questions, uh, if there's not enough information in the little, it posts a few pictures, you know, your, uh, your featured pictures or whatever. Uh, if there's not pictures of people on there or something that we can't identify as an actual profile, you know, uh, you've got a, you, you've got a picture of a sports logo or whatever as your main profile picture, but in your other pictures, uh, you've got some selfies you've uploaded, uh, you got some family photos on there. Uh, somebody posts a comment, hey, great pick, and you post back to them, hey, thanks for the pick, thanks for the comment, yeah, that kind of thing. We look for the interaction. It's not just strictly the main profile picture. Uh, if there's not enough of your profile that the admin can see that we feel comfortable let you in, we probably won't. Uh, as I said in another video, we had some problems with some folks we let in, and uh, that's mainly the, re the reason for this rule now. Uh, if later, after you get put in, you block your profile, which means we can't click through to it, uh, what that happens is, is when you comment or when we see it on the, uh, the member list, uh, your name is in black and it doesn't, let, it doesn't allow us to click through to your profile. Uh, we figure maybe there's a reason this guy's blocking his profile, this guy or gal or kid or whoever, we don't care. Um, so we figure if you found a reason to not allow us to interact with you a little bit, then we figure there's a reason for that. So we do that. Uh, in the past, we've also had people change their profile picture to things like uh, somebody flying the bird or a logo, that's a, or a logo that says, uh, screw you or something along those lines. Uh, and also cover photos. Also check your backgrounds when you do your photos. Uh, we had a, uh, a member that changed his uh, profile pic to something laying on his desk. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but also in the back were a couple of crack pipes or something that looked a lot like a crack pipe. So uh, we didn't do that. We, 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 we kind of frown upon things like that. Uh, rule number nine. Uh, if you're only here for self-promotion and not participating in the group in other ways, then you will be gone. So this goes back to folks who've got their own businesses, uh, folks who've got their own YouTube channels, folks who've got their own pages, things like that. We don't mind if you promote yourself. Uh, we like that. Uh, but if that's all you're doing, uh, you never comment on anybody else's posts, uh, and you come in and post a whole bunch of links to your YouTube or your page or whatever, and nothing else, uh, then uh, we kind of figure you're not there to help the group out. You're kind of there to help yourself out, which is fine. Like I said, we want you to show your stuff, but not just show your stuff. And last, the last note that I've said before in other, in other videos. Note, not all situations can be covered by an individual rule without the rules post being too large for anyone to read. A lot of people don't read it anyway, but if we covered every single situation that could possibly arrive in the group, then what would happen is the rules would read like the Encyclopedia Britannica. And that's all. Thanks.